Hi, and welcome to this energy reading. It is for the rest of July. Today is the 20th, and so it's from today until the 31st. And uh, I pre-shuffled all the decks. I haven't chosen any of the cards yet, except one card did fall out of the deck as I was shuffling, and it is Be Patient. Hmm. So, we'll see what that's all about. I have some ideas of my own, especially how it applies to myself. Um, but, you know, we're picking on, on the energies of the collective right now and just seeing, or I guess whoever's drawn to watch this video, these cards will mean something for you. So let's see what it's all about. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I am Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer, spiritual awakening coach. And I'm um, very big these days into access bars and access consciousness. Oh my God, you got to check that out. Um, well, anyway, my website is lovemylife.coach. And I'm going to do this reading for the rest of this month and see what comes up. And as I mentioned in the very beginning, the first card that, well, actually I shuffled all the decks and uh, one card popped out of this one deck, be patient. So I thought, all right, we got to go with that. Now, it could have very much to do with how much, how many changes are in the works. A lot of us are switching and doing other things or adding more th things to what we do, like whether it's work-wise or in your personal life or in your dating life, whatever it is. Um, I know for me, I've been really getting a strong message to do more creative work because I originally did was an artist. I worked in graphic arts for many, many years in advertising. Um, and so I've been getting back into that and, uh, you know, playing with, with the paints and, you know, oils and acrylics and what I want to do. And I've got these little ideas. Maybe I'll show you some stuff before the end of the video that I have on my desk here. Um, but anyway, be patient. But I want to see exactly how Sonia Choquette intends this card to be. So let's see. Number 21. Yeah, so I mean, really, there is a lot of change going on. And, you know, we're... We're very impatient. We want to, I know I am. Patience, my God, patience. I've been working with my whole entire life. It was a big theme for me throughout my whole karate career. And, you know, just when you think you got it, something comes up and shows you, no, there's a little bit more to it. It's more than that, right? And it, it's funny how something so simple as be patient, you could see so how big that really is, patience, um, especially with the self, because we're very judgmental of ourselves and impatient when we want things to be a certain way or when we're working towards something or gathering information, putting things together. Like I know, I would, I know, I guess because I know that we are capable of just having the information just like that at our fingertips because we are that powerful. We just don't remember that we can tune in and pick up whatever we need, right? But we're, you know, we're all adapting to those to reawakening anyway to those abilities that we have within ourselves and again you can get impatient with and, and go towards those thoughts of this isn't happening fast enough or what's going on here or this was supposed to be this way or that way or whatever instead of just really being patient allowing the universe to orchestrate all that it has to orchestrate to have your desires come into your reality um, yeah, that's a big one, you know, especially those people around law of attraction and you know, really working towards or with tools to design your life, to, to live the things you really want and desire in your life. And I don't like to say want because want's a very lacking word, but those things that you would love to have within your life. Um, we get impatient. We get so impatient. We want everything right away. Um, and then you, you miss out on the beauty of the different things to experience along the way. Wow, let's soak that in. You lose sight of all the different things that you're learning and absorbing along the way. Because so many times we skip over these little lessons and things. Um, you just have to repeat them because because it's like the universe is thrown it at us. And if we don't take a moment to just be quiet and notice it and acknowledge it and maybe have some gratitude for having this be, a part of what's going on in your life um, yeah it just has to keep happening over and over again so it's really about being more present so maybe be patient is really more being present and in the moment 
and not looking towards any certain timelines or looking, especially not looking back. Um, so I don't know. I'm going off on a tangent. <laughs> I guess it had to be said. I just trust whatever wants to come out comes out because that's just the way it is. The energy just wants to flow at sometimes. So it says here, um, the answer is simple. Be patient. The physical universe vibrates at a slower pace than the mental one does. Yes. Therefore, although it may appear that your spirit's desire is far away at this very moment, this isn't actually true. Rather, it's in the process of coming into realization. Okay, so that's exactly what was trying to come through my words a few seconds ago. Sim but she puts it so easily, right? So simply be patient and know that the universe, in cooperation with your beautiful spirit, is working on your behalf just as the hidden roots of a plant are grounded and fed by Mother Earth long before the flower and the buds open into bloom. So too is your divine creation in the process of becoming a reality. Quiet your impatient ego and feel the pulse of the universe as it joyfully feeds your person, your personal in intention. Even though you may not see the results at this moment, something quite powerful is in the works. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you for that reminder. Yeah. Relax and rest in the knowledge that the universe always supports your divine spirit in all of its sacred aims. Trust in the divine order of things that thing, and give things more time. All right. So, yeah, I needed that. I don't know if you needed that, but I certainly needed that because, um, you know, sometimes you have these things that just happen so quick. And it's like, wow, and wouldn't, wouldn't that be great if that happened all the time? Like I keep asking the universe, what's it going to take for me to be able to have this happen quickly and easily? And just with joy and have it be fun. Um, yeah. All right. My, my, I've got like a thousand thoughts coming in at the same time right now. But I'm wiping them out. to see what this next card tells us. It's a numerology deck. I haven't used this deck in a long, long time. Number, oh, number 13. Effort. Okay. Huh. It seems appropriate. Oh, there go the dogs. Let's see. Let's see what this card is. Effort. So it says, this card indicates the dogs want to chime in. <laughs> this card indicates a time when extra effort is required to overcome your current obstacles and challenges. As you are now being tested and your attitude is key. Hmm. Rather than surrender to self-pity, laziness, negativity, or frustration, you may utilize your inner power, for you're stronger than you think. And when the going gets tough, the tough must get going. So pull yourself together and have faith in your success. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to call upon your inner and outer resources to achieve the outcome that you desire. Rather than succumb to quick fix solutions, shortcuts, or manipulation, you must plan, focus, and act with tenacity and drive. Wouldn't it be nice to know what they were actually saying as they're howling? I have to start tuning into that a little bit more. So it says, with effort and determination, you will break through all restrictions that are presently holding you back. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of life. Cycles that require you to put extra effort into overcoming your challenges. Never, ever give up. And your success is guaranteed. So I would say it's not so much effort um, in the doing of uh, trying to make things happen or trying to, if you have to force things too hard, that's, it's like the universe saying, no, it's just not going to work that way. Because if you can feel your energy in that, so it's like really tricky to see what kind of effort. I, I feel for me and for maybe the people I speak to, or it's just the way I think it is, is that it's it's maybe taking a little extra effort to just believe in yourself, to trust in the universe, that things are always working on your behalf. You, We are creators. That's what we are. We create. And so when we get imp impatient and push too hard, that would be too much effort, um, you won't be able to hear... The inspiration that wants to come that will take to that will take you there in a much easier, joyful way. I know I spent a lot of time using effort, so like yeah, I'm, maybe I'm misunderstanding that card, but I feel it needs to be more 
of not a doing effort, but of being open and aware so that when the inspiration comes, you can feel it in your body. Ah, oh, this is the right action. And then go and do that action. See, it's so much different when you are creating through inspiration and excitement and enthusiasm for this part of the puzzle that came to you to um, implement. Yeah. Because when we start pushing too hard, it's very hard to let that, that inspiration won't come in because we're just not open to it. We're not in the right vibration for it. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to the energy oracle deck. Oh, okay. Upside down, walking away. In the reverse, number 27. Ooh, I opened up to 28. Almost at 27. Okay, so it's all about uh, letting go and moving on. <laughs> so it'll be interesting. So in the reverse, this card signals that you may be feeling very stuck in some present situation or location. There may be a job or a relationship that no longer resonates with you, yet out of habit or perhaps fear, you allow yourself to stay when it might be healthier to consider walking away. Huh, interesting. Habit and familiarity are compelling forces, often causing people to ignore their intuition uh -huh, and even dishonor their genuine feelings. This is a time of honest investigation. Consider all the factors in your present situation. Perhaps the timing isn't quite right and there may be some purpose in staying a little while longer. Don't deceive yourself about your motivations, however. Fear-based decisions don't often work out in your highest interest. Yeah, I would say never. Uh, you also may be stuck in a long-term personal habit or unhealthy pattern. Be aware that you always have the option and responsibility to let go of any thought or behavior that no longer honors you. Whenever you walk away from negativity, you always move towards greater happiness. Yeah. Interesting. So, again, it, it could be that whole thing about ha pushing too hard or making something bigger than it is or too much effort. It, it, you've got to feel the energy around that, right? And then make so, and then back off on it, right? And be able to reconnect with yourself, like, and just breathe and just, you know, declare, decide, and declare to the universe, like, okay, listen, what is what is it right? What is right for me here? So, as far as walking away from something, you might ask yourself, um, you know, and it, and so, a truth always makes you feel lighter, right? If something's yes or something's true, it'll make you feel lighter. If it's a no or if it's just not your truth, it will feel heavier. Like you'll feel constricted. You won't feel that openness. So it could be just really, you know, quieting down. Maybe that being patient card comes in here. Checking in with yourself and asking. So in the case of walking away, you know, like it is now the time to... Um, it's now the time for me to move in a new direction, to switch careers or whatever that might be, and just sit with it and feel like, does it feel open and expansive? Even though you don't know what you might be doing, right? It's just the question to find a direction, right? So does it feel open to move, move away? Or does it feel, um, well, maybe, maybe it just doesn't feel open. It doesn't have to feel heavy. It could just feel like, no, not, now's not the time. So... And ask questions, you know, and, and really, sometimes you might just get a hit, you know, ask your higher self, you're like, is, is now the time for me to walk away from this and move in this direction that I've been thinking about? And see what you feel and sense and possibly know. Okay, some people hear easily, like as if they hear a yes, or they hear a no. And some people just feel it or just have a sense of it, like, oh, that's a definite yes, or that's a definite no. So I'd say really checking in with yourself. Um, so, so far it looks like being patient. Um, I would say not pushing things with too much effort, allowing for that inspiration to come in so you can follow the right actions, the, those things that will actually move you forward in the direction that you want to go. And uh, if walking away is part of that, you know, maybe you've already started something or you're in between the two different things that you want to do. And you're getting a strong hit that you know, now's the time to just 
really go towards this one now. It's time to let go of this one. Because sometimes, you know, especially switching jobs or careers, you kind of have to keep one going for a little bit while you're moving into this other one because it's really hard to go cold turkey, right? Especially when you have um, obligations, you know, like mortgages to pay and things like that. <laughs> so anyway, always tuning in and ask a lot of questions of the universe. So let's get this divine energy oracle. So when you ask questions of the universe, oh, I already shuffled that, I forgot. Uh, let's just pick this card. You don't have to get an answer right there and then, but you're allowing the answers to come. When we get stuck in our head trying to figure it out, that puts the brakes on everything. That slows everything down. So I want to be in that open, receptive place to be able to have solutions come. I know I've been doing a lot of this lately, and it's funny how little things are popping up in the weirdest of ways. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I asked that. I asked about that like just a couple of weeks ago. This is this is it. This is directly, you know, you don't think of it at first, but but then it hits you. Like it's almost like maybe your higher self is saying, remember, this is that question you asked about. This is one way to get there. Start doing this. Oh, okay. Then you can put that effort into it, right? Because it's this effort that's, powered by enthusiasm right excitement like I'm doing all this creative stuff again and it's, it's exciting I don't really know what I'm doing with it I'm just doing it because it's great keeps my vibe up oh be decisive hmm I gotta read that one I want to see what she means by this okay so this is that deck that doesn't really have the numbers I put my own numbers in and we go to page 41 okay If I ever get there, here we go. Be decisive. Let's see what it says. Are you second guessing your decisions? Are you questioning choices made in the past? Wondering why in the world you made them? Are you being wishy-washy rather than acting decisively? Are you going in circles? Your divine energy is calling you to get centered and focus and recognize your true priorities. Then commit to them. Avoid indecision, hesitation, or procrastination. Power comes from making positive and committed choices. Don't be afraid to make decisions that respect and honor your heart. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they respect and honor your heart, they, there cannot be anything wrong with those decisions. They have to be leading you in, in, they have to be leading you in a way that really fulfills you. So your divine energy is, uh, is a divine invitation is... Pray for divine energy to help you make clear decisions. Start by narrowing your options. What's important to you today? Write it down. Keep it simple and immediate. Next, examine how you spend your time and eliminate what doesn't serve your immediate goals. Don't put others' needs or demands first. It's time for you to put yourself first. You may be unpopular, but you'll gain respect, especially your own. So your divine helpers will be on hand to help and support you. Yeah. You know, the more you put yourself first, and the, or I should say, the more you care for the things that you're needing in your life, with whether whether it's mental, physical, emotional, um, the more you support that and allow yourself to like open, like a flower opening, because you're really nurturing yourself. Well, then you can just spread so much more of that to everybody else in your in your in your world. Okay, spirit animal. Oh, I already, already shuffled. All right. All right. Oh, it's upside down. Spider spirit. Make your dreams real upside down. Gotta read it. Gotta read it. Uh, 56. Okay, this is a great deck. Sonia Choquette. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's Colette Baron Reed, if you ever want to get one for yourself. They're really great. Okay, 56. Spider spirit, make your dreams real, but in the reverse. So let's see what it has. Okay, it says, are you experiencing your dreams to weave themselves? Are you ex expecting your dreams to weave themselves into reality? Are you stuck in the sticky web of weaving dreams but never following through? The thread of intention isn't enough to make dreams a reality unless you do your part in the weaving. 
Spider spirit wants you to know that your plans will remain ephemeral unless you commit to being productive and industrious. For spirit will not do it all for you. Of course, right? So when you get that inspiration, you got to move on that. You know, you'll if, if it's right for you, you're going to feel that enthusiasm behind it, providing you don't have all that negative self-talk get in the way and stop you, right? So it says magic needs to be uh, instigated. So begin to make your dream a reality by taking action today. So what are you willing to do? What are you willing to sacrifice? Can you release your limited beliefs? Your dream is worthy of weaving. Today's the day to choose one small step towards your dream. Remember, spirit is your weaving partner. You just have to be the first one to bring the thread to the loom. Then continue to do your part. All right, so there you have it. I think that... Um, it could be it could be a lot to do with a lot of the previous readings where um, maybe you're being directed or asked in some way to move into another way of being, or, or whether it's a, a new career, a new relationship, whatever that might be, um, and to take action on that because it's like you can't just put a desire out there and ex just expect it to come. It's a co-creation. So you have to actually, since we're in a material, physical world, you actually have to do some work, right? You have to, and that, but that's the fun part because when it is something you really want to do, then you really enjoy doing it. Like I've been enjoying painting. Okay, I'll show you some of these things. I'm doing these cubes, right? And, what I, and this is just the beginning of it. And I'm going to be writing words on each side of it. So it's kind of going to be like a, a dice. You roll the dice, you see what word to concentrate on that day. Uh, I'm doing them in, um, this one's with oil painting, you know, it's not done yet, I'm still working on it, but, and that one's with acrylic, so I'm playing around with what I want, I like working in oils better, but I'm playing around with both of them, because oils take so long to dry, and I want to keep going and making more, you know, I've got oil paintings that I'm doing, I'm going to be putting all this stuff up in my Etsy store, I've got this dream box that I'm going to be putting together, um, it's going to be really cool. Anyway, do all these ideas that they keep, to, they're flooding in. So I'm like, okay, if these ideas are flooding in, I'm supposed to do something with this. Now, I love doing the coaching that I do and the healing that I do. I love giving access bar sessions. I love doing all of the stuff that I do because always it feeds my soul and it opens me up. So it makes me feel totally light. That's why I always say I bring more light to people's lives. Well, this is bringing more light to me too, to be doing this artwork. And I'm like, okay. So I can do inspiration for people through these things because I have inspirational things all over my space. You know, I look at them and they light me up and they lift me up. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll do that too. That's what Spirit's sending me. I'm just going to do it. So follow what's coming to you. Check with yourself to see where's my energy with this. Is this like lifting me up? Is this making me feel lighter or is this making me feel heavier? Because if it's light, then it's true for you. And that's what you want to follow. Your body will let you know. Like you'll feel it in your body. So I would say, yeah, let's do it. If we need to walk away from something, see if now is the time for that. Check in with yourself, right? Um, does it require, notice if you're putting in an effort that feels very heavy, like a struggle. Or if it's effort that's like, you can't wait to do more of it. Because you're so inspired to keep working this, whatever this is. Um be decisive, right? And uh, be patient. These cards are great. And that spider card, love it. All right, so that's the reading for this end of January. I'll do another one in the beginning of February and uh, hopefully some other little videos here and there, just little snippets of inspiration, things you can do to really bring more light into your life. And uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe, like them, share them, and comment below. Love to get comments. I'll see you another time. Bye.